So this is a tutorial for Ross Blender Art. He wants to know how to save a single score from an object to a list of scores, scoreboard. Now, I've already had a thought about this because it didn't work the first time I recorded this tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to do it. This isn't quite right. Hold on. Um, so, what do we do? Well, essentially you're trying to save a score from an object which I've defined here as score, and my save is the value. You call it from a keyboard sensor, or however you like, only once, and go to a module. Create a text file called saveload.py, and type in the module saveload.update. Now we have our script. If you copy this down as I'm writing, and I'll, I'll explain it so you can come back and look at it. Essentially, we have a big list, and each time we save, we want to take the list, load it and add a value to it and save it again. So what I do is I take the property we need to save, the score, we take we load the we load a special thing called global dict. Global dict is basically like a big dictionary, as a language dictionary or as a list, which a language dictionary works is you look up a word and you'll find out the meaning. In the same way you look up here, you look up a um, a name of a, of a, a name of an attribute and it will find you the value. So in global dict we're going to create we're going to look at global dict, and we're going to load it. And if I try this automatically now, if I press P, you'll see nothing because I, it, it exists. But essentially, when global dict ha hasn't been saved using the load and save global dict functions, it will throw an error and say it doesn't exist. But it won't throw an error, it'll throw a warning, which means you can't exploit the try accept statement I tried earlier. So first things first, we load the global dict. Now, get, we create an if statement. If bg.logic.globaldict equals equals uh, is empty, or even this, if you do if not bg.globaldict, in other words, if it's empty, then we will have to create it. We have to create our score because it obviously hasn't been created. So if there's nothing in global dict, we add a attribute called score, a variable called score, or um, a key called score, and then we give it a value of a dictionary. And we'll print the bg uh, global dict. We then write our score as appending it. So I don't know why I've put a dictionary. That should be a list. We append to the dictionary our property, and then we save it. So if I press P, you see nothing in there. If I press U, it first says I couldn't save it, because it doesn't exist. But now it's been saved, and it writes your score. If I press U again, it will add it again, and again, and again. And this is basically how it works. Now I should just check that the sentence is positive, so it stops doing it twice. If, um, if not, cont.sensors. 0 dot positive. This will get the first sensor that activates it, which is not always the best technique, but it's good for now. So if I press U, I can add to our scoreboard. And I'll add another function for you to find clear cont. If not cont dot sensors dot positive return. This basically means if you haven't activated by a sensor, it returns. Now To save the score, very simple. We first reset global dict, and then we save it. So I'll make another keyboard sensor, and I'll save it as a value of C. I'll create a Python controller, module, and type save load dot update. No dot clear. And this is saveload.py and it imports this module here. Copy the setup. I can now press U to, up to make our dictionary bigger. Now, interestingly enough, we get a very big listing. Okay. Now, I can then press. C, and if I press U again, it will have an empty score, which is very useful.
So let's close this. Then we are done. And if I add this after the statement, you'll understand better. But this is essentially how you do it. And I'll post this on the forum. You check if the sensor is positive, if not you return, because you don't need to execute the code. You get the score off the game object using the scene.objects attribute. You load the global dict from a save file which Blender automatically creates when you use the load and save actuators. These are basically actuators in Python. If you haven't got anything in the global dict, which we should have created, then it creates it as an empty variable list, and then it um, saves your, appends your score to the uh, main score, and then saves it. So essentially you're loading back an old score and making it bigger. And then this is your clear. This is the logic breaks. Just a keyboard, a save load update, save load clear, and here is your Python file. Very simple. Um, I hope you find this useful. In terms of how to use it, look at my Python tutorials on the for statement, and just know that the global dict will be a dictionary and it'll have the name score. Thank you for watching. Good luck.